guys, I'm Brad Wilson with Wild Heart Wilderness and today back out here at the forge where I'm going to try to fix something that I was working on the other day. Um, I was trying to make a knife out of an old file and I had so many different mistakes and mishaps in that project um, as far as things melting off and breaking and that sort of thing that I was just happy to really just get a basic profile going on for, as far as this blade is concerned. And my goal was to make this a knife, but also a steel striker. So I wanted the handle to be exposed. Um, but I, like I said, I was focusing more on the blade that I kind of forgot about the handle. It will throw sparks because um, I quenched it in water and that sort of thing. But it's really thin. And so it's really not very comfortable or conducive for really holding on to, you know, if you're going to process game and actually use this for a functional knife, it's really not that comfortable. And I'm, I'm a small guy, I have small hands, I guess, you know, compared to most guys. And even for me, it's it's really small. Um, so what I'm thinking about doing is trying to fix that, trying to draw this out a little more, straighten it up. It's not straight, it's got a little hump in there. There's a, there's a, a million things wrong with this thing. Uh, but it, it was my first time trying to make a knife. But anyway, we're gonna try to fix that by drawing this out and curling this back under, maybe try to put a twist or something in that. Just make it look a little better, but also it's going to make it function better as well. So stay with me guys and we'll get into it. Okay, so before we actually start forging everything, I just wanted to throw in this little quick tip for you guys. Uh, those of you who buy products from Self-Reliance Outfitters, uh, most of the time, just about every time, you get, this is kind of the packaging that is to protect whatever your item is. All it is is shredded cardboard. And I like to use this stuff, I save this and use it around the house in different for different reasons when I'm starting fires. It just makes it a lot easier. And this stuff burns really well or you know gets a fire started really well. So I'm gonna use that today to, to light this forge. And then another thing, um, you know you can use a lighter obviously. It's gonna be a lot easier but I'm using matches today. Um, and these aren't your average kitchen matches. These actually come from a uh, cigar shop or tobacco shop. Um, I don't know exactly what kind this is. The name, the brand is Diamond Crown. Doesn't give you an idea of what, or a picture of that. Um, I don't know if you can order these off the internet or not, but I got them from City Place Cigar in Lynchburg, Virginia. But anyway, these will, when you strike it, I don't know how to explain it, but it flares up a lot more than your average kitchen match, and it kind of burns a little bit longer too. So, if you're going to carry matches, um, you know you're going to use that to start a fire. You know these are really good for that, I think. But that's just a little quick tip I wanted to share with you guys. So I'm going to light this up real quick, and we'll get started.
All right, guys. All right, so this is what I'm kind of looking for here. Um, I might try to fix this just a little bit so I can get my finger more of my fingers in there and then put this down to a point and maybe do a little bit of a scroll or something like that and then I might call it after that but uh, this is closer we're getting closer to what I'm, I'm looking for so stay with me hopefully we'll get we'll get it right All right, guys, so I think this is what I'm looking for. I don't know how well you can see this, but I think this will do okay. The, the hand, area for the hand might be just a little smaller than I wanted, but I'm overall, I'm pretty happy with that. I think we've fixed this pretty well today. So what I'm gonna do is uh, heat this portion up, probably from here, like that handle part. Heat it up real good, test it with the magnet, and then uh, we'll quench it in the water here and hopefully it will throw sparks. So let's do that real quick.
All right, guys. So I quenched the handle. Now what I'm going to do is just uh, lay this on top of the anvil and let the uh, the uh, blade portion of this knife just air cool. So I think that's what I'm going to do with that. All right. 